Hello everyone. Welcome to session 62 of Software Testing Made Easy course. In this session, I'm going to explain one of the SDLC models that is RAD SDLC model. So let's get started. So what exactly is this RAD SDLC model? Here, RAD stands for Rapid Application Development. As the name says, rapid. That means the software need to be developed at a rapid speed, guys, at a very high speed. So when does the client or business choose this SDLC model for developing their software? So let's say the client or business want a large software, okay, large sized, big sized or large software, whatever it is, in less time. In less time, this large software need to be developed without concerned or worrying about the budget, okay? Without worrying or concerning about the budget required. So what the client will do here, the client will hire more people, okay? He will hire more people who can develop the software for developing a large size of software in very less time, guys, without worrying about the budget. So here is where rapid application SDLC, development SDLC model is used for developing the software. When the client has more money, he's ready to pay more money and he wants the software, which is of big size to be developed in less time by hiring more people. Now, let me show you one thing, guys. So here is a diagram for this RAD SDLC model. So let me open the diagram for you. So after looking at the diagram, you'll understand how the software can be developed at a rapid speed. So what, uh, before I explain this diagram, guys, you need to understand one thing. Let's say this is a software, okay? A very big software need to be developed. So what the client will do here is, he'll break the software into multiple parts like this. Let's say, for example, he has breaked the software based on the timeline and all, he breaked the big software into four parts. And for every part, he will assign a team, guys. So this team will only develop this part, while this team will be developing only this part. The team three will be developing the third part, okay? And the team four will be developing the fourth part. If still in very less time, the client wants the software to be developed, he may break the software into more parts, team five, team six also, okay? It all depends on um, in how much less time the software need to be developed. So what the team will do, team one will work on the first part of the software while simultaneously without wasting any time, team two will be simultaneously working on the second part, team three will be simultaneously working on the third part and team four will be simultaneously working on the fourth part. And finally, all the teams will club the software to become a, the final largest software that need to be developed. So as the diagram speaks here, Team one is working on the first part, team two on the second part, team three on the third part, here team four on the fourth part. Ignore this mistake guys, it's not testing, it's team four, okay? It's team four. So team one, what it does is, for the first part of the software, the team one will do the design part, that is modeling guys. As part of modeling, we may have business modeling, okay? There are three types of modeling that can be done. One is business type of modeling. If you go to the images, so, where is that image guys, uh, which speaks about, okay, let me show you the image guys. So, so this kind of image guys, okay, business model. So the software, uh, whatever the functionality that need to be developed, right? It will be uh, drawn like this, designed like this, in the business model. This is business modeling. There's one more modeling known as uh, data modeling guys. Data modeling is also part of the design, okay? This design modeling only, where it looks something like this guys data modeling, okay? Like kind of these diagrams. And uh, the software before getting developed, right? They will be represented in the different diagrams like business model diagrams or data modeling diagrams or another type of modeling we have is a process modeling. Generally, these three models are used as part of modeling in this RAD, okay? The process modeling, which looks like a process guys, okay? Start from here and all those stuff, okay? So all these models are used in the modeling for designing the software. And after the design of this particular part of the software is done by the team one, 
the implementation that is development of the software will be done for this particular part and finally the testing of the software and delivering of this particular part of the software will be done simultaneously team 2 is also doing the same thing on the part 2 of the software team 3 is doing the same thing on the part 3 of the software team 4 is also doing same on the part 4 of the software finally all the things will be clubbed together to deliver this particular large sized project in less time here client is not bothered about money or budget guys okay he is ready to hire as many teams as possible but only the requirement is to get this software developed in less amount of time less period okay less time or less period whatever you call so hope guys you understood what exactly is rad sdlc model and when this model will be chosen by the client or business for developing the software when we need to develop a large software in less time without worrying the budget and without worrying about the count of the people right by hiring more people this sdlc model that is rad application development model is suitable guys so that's it guys thank you bye